Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Today, we're here with Mark, the welder that I'm gonna aggravate. <laughs> Better known as the Englishman. What do you figure, Mark? Well, looks like a decent project. What you got going on? Well, we named this a Swamp Donkey. We picked it up probably two weeks ago on the island where there's no snow. I parked it out here, it snowed on it two days ago. I thought winter was over, I was wrong. But I need to take a start on this. We need to take a look at it and see where we're gonna go. It, some of it is tacked together, some of it is finished and I need a professional opinion on it to take a look so we can make a plan to start on this thing. Okay, so what do you want from me? I want you to look at it and, and, and see what you have to say. Like there's some of the welds here, it's tacked together and this needs to be ground off and finished. And these tanks need to be finished and built and bent and built and just kind of one in your comment on it. Well, what's all this? The tank for what? I do believe this is the oil tank. Okay. The pieces and parts are here for it. They're all in here for the bottom of the tanks to weld it together. Under 14 feet of snow. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it don't look that hard. What do you think of that for a rim? Pretty boy, did you do that? He's smart. <laughs> um, yeah, they are wide. These tires are just about a thousand dollars Canadian a piece to put on here. Yeah, they're sand rail tires that it's made for. They're two ply Kevlar, and uh, yeah, it should have float. It should go very well. <clears throat> it's powered by a Volkswagen motor. Diesel? No gas pot. Holy it's got a gas a gas Volkswagen bus engine that it's powered by. But again, the welding on here, what do you think? How many hours do you figure to take and you know get the stuff a little bit done? The tanks need to be built. Hydraulic tank, fuel tank, and then we've got to figure out a dashboard for in here. Well if I know you, there's a couple of weeks worth of work here. You think that's it, eh? Yeah. Because you always change your mind when you're going along, right? I've never changed my mind ever once, oh, Mark, in my entire dad, life. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I really don't know. We'll just kind of go through this. We're doing it, I guess, as a normal project. Well, there's a pad that goes in here. But again, there's some of this has to be welded out a little bit more. I don't know what to do on the front end here. 90% of the pieces are here. The roll bar is here. There's a roll bar here and another, another hoop here. The problem is, is positioning the seats where to sit, and what do you build for a dash? Well, it'd be another wingate job like we normally do. Yeah, so again, we got the material here. The only problem is that we don't have anybody, we don't have a bender in the neighborhood anymore because it all burnt down on the fire. Is there anybody close by that has a bender? A brake? Uh, no, not that I know of anymore. Well, I guess that's not Cam, a problem. Cam looks a salmon on, but yeah. we can figure that out. We can just lay it out and then take and figure out this. Yeah. I can see this. <clears throat> there needs to be some seats. So I don't know whether a guy builds a seat into the back of these oil and fuel tanks. Or what the hell? See this here piece here? Here, just pull that right out. It's a constant, that's the lunch chair, eh? <laughs> See these here go in here, right here. This is a smuggling compartment, right? Yeah. This compartment, believe it or not, somebody has it hooked up for an air chamber to suck air for the motor, is what their idea was. See right here, air in, air in. So if you take and take a nose dive into the water. It right, won't yeah. suck into the motor, it'll suck out of here. You're gonna need a snorkel. Well. You get it up here, just in case you do take a nose dive, because this will fill with water. I don't think it'll go that deep, and if it does, <clears throat> if it does, it's gonna fill the whole body with it. I don't know whether that's viable, whether it's a good idea, a bad idea, I don't know. I haven't given it much thought, okay? This here, the pump and everything sticks way into the inside here. So, where do you put your seats at? How do you how do you how do you do your seating? Do you straddle the pump? Do you straddle the pump? Yeah. Do you yeah, sit on the you, side? You want two seats, like, or just one? Well, the guy should have. I don't know. Where do you drive it from? What side do you drive it from? 
Well, what what is is it like the two levers like an argo cat thing? It will be yeah. Yeah. They got swash plates, so you just stroke the pump. They can either be be cable well, levers. Why don't you just put one seat in the middle? Just straddle your there, and you could have a couple of seats here if you're going to. The problem take being is, me just put one bench seat right across the back. Or why did you do that? Just just like one bench seat right across here. Yeah. Why not? Then you could like if you're going to build these tanks, you're going to build the roll cage up through here. You could build your seats into the roll and take cage. And use this for the back of your seat. Yeah. Just build it up a little more. See, the other problem is too is the motor is so high in the air that. Mm -hmm. In order to straddle that thing, it's almost in the way. Where do you put your dash over here? So why is the motor so hard? I can't answer that question. I don't know. See, it's... I don't know why it's that high. You could always drop that. It might solve a lot of problems yeah, dropping that motor. Time. Because that way a guy can take and straddle it to kick and get over there, or I don't know. But again, a guy's got to take a look at it. It's some food for some thought. <clears throat> yeah, you almost got, what, 14 inches of clearance underneath that thing <clears throat> yeah i don't know why so much clearance i guess i see she's got a little bit of water in the bottom of her i don't know block's correct <laughs> smart <laughs> again the motor the back of the seats i don't know the dash the sealed it's compartment all... like again they're worried about sucking air for the motor out of there are you making this like a sealed unit i don't know you're going to put it in water, why wouldn't you? Especially the front side of things. Like how far do you... Ow. Ow. Yeah, I don't know why that motor's so high in the air. No, me neither. Because you think the lower it has, the better center of gravity you have, right? Yeah. It's a coldy part. Volkswagen. I better not say too much, we'll get sued by Volkswagen. There you go. But see the chain cases? See, a guy could drop that motor down. Oh, but again, before a guy gets too far, we ask ourselves, why is it this high? You know, it's going to be nose heavy too, right? No, it won't. There's, there's probably... 300 pounds of oil back here that goes in here and the fuel on the other side okay. so and plus you're sitting in right here so you're right across in these two front wheels right here so it won't that volkswagen motor i think that's why they use the volkswagen motor on it it actually won't be that nose heavy i don't think because you got all the fluid back here so you're putting a roll cage in from here back I don't know. I don't know, Mark. I don't oh, know. you haven't got a plan then. Well, I don't have a plan. There's some piece bent right here. Right. A piece of two inches bent as a hoop that goes like this right across. So I guess you bend the hoop here, you put one in the back, and then you can skin it over top for a bikini top or something over top of it. I don't know. We, we can do whatever you want. Depends what plan you got in your mind. The problem is, is that the manifolds and everything are already made for the motor at that height. It's all plumbed in and that part's already made. So I don't know. Somebody has put a lot of effort into this thing and they had an idea. I don't know whether it was a good one or a bad one, but it is an idea. That's your oil cooler and stuff right, on it. Okay. So well, I guess when all the snow melts off it and But again, is there enough room? Again, these chain cases right here, when you go to sit in there, the chain cases are in the way for you for you having a half decent place to sit on either side of it. Well, that's why I suggested my... Well, I don't know. There's a fair amount of leg room in here. Right? We could make a false floor in there. There's like a foot plate thing. And the seat would go where that um, Tupperware thing is. And have the seat yeah. sitting up a little higher, but then, yeah. then you're, you're going to... Yeah. Oh God! They look like a goddamn gazelle to you. Well, <laughs> you will do in a minute. <laughs> yeah, just play postman Pat. Yeah, see. <laughs> it's not very warm. <laughs> I guess not. This is ice cube. 
but that's no that's no you got just as much room there as you do in that mini over there and you could come up a little bit you got, well you can't because you've you... about six inches between you and the top of your head and the roof if you're going to use the roof at this height this height rather see the exhaust and stuff is right here so you're gonna have a um like a bulkhead there though right yeah you're gonna have to put a bulkhead across here somewhere and box it all in how far do you come back with the dash back to here well, it's, it's, get, it's my problem is it starts getting to be a waste of space you know, putting a dash you only need to be about you only need gauges and the freaking steering wheel comes back oh you actually know you got right those, here right? see all the steering mechanisms is right here so you can run it right across here and have everything right here yeah right there and it'd be done so is that too close to the window or far when you get a That's dash over here well, i don't think so you could bend the dash over like this and have it come like this well yeah you wouldn't have to come out that far if you didn't want to just have it flat yeah we we'll just come from nothing down here to a bit of an angle, right? I think that might work, but you're, how about contrite with your knees? Your legs are kind of... You see how tight everything is in here? Yeah, well, you, that's what you say. You raise yourself up another six inches. Oh, well, yeah, right about that level. Right yeah, there? Okay. We might have to go up a little bit with, if you're going to put a roof on it, but that would be, I think, a little bit more better. If you need to cut these, we can extend this height up a little bit. Then you're comfortable with this here with the floor pan on it. Well, I would, I would be, wouldn't you? Don't you feel more comfortable like that, at that level? Can we just lift these up? Yeah. Lift the window up? Yeah, I mean, like, this quality weld here is... Well, this is tacked in there. Yeah. But... We can do anything with this. You pretty much got it looks like it should come maybe a little bit higher on that front hoop almost eh we can do that i think it's easier to bring this front window up than it is or or again the, the seating is what is what kind of worries me a little bit well, instead of moving the motor move this this would be easy to move this and move see the if motor. we're right here down like this anyways okay so we we'll just have one seat up front And straddle the the pump kind of thing or have a bench seat that goes right across the whole back side right, yeah, you've said that yeah already that's a good idea too see there's your walkway in the middle of it so if you you're down any, if you your floor any, pan is here do you have any any two by sixes or, or see it almost looks like the height of that oil tank is possibly where they may have the floorboards right well, what would this look like if this was in there well, it won't fit in there because there's too much shit in there. Here. your bench sheet at that height and you straddle that whole thing right you know it's not that bad this bench seat could come back you could actually come up just a little bit right? and we just raise this up a bit more another six or seven inches so you line a side so, i mean you're short anyway right anyways do it, we can do it. We did it with that, we can do it with this. See, it looks like... Here, you might as well pull this out too, this one. That 
That's a hydraulic motor, right? Yeah, that's the pump, yeah. See this? You can always move these tanks, too. Look at the waste space though. It's the problem I'm getting at. Yeah. For room. I think this is too far back. I think the seat, again, like you said before. If you want two seats or a bench seat or whatever, yeah, just do that. See right here, but this your chain case is in the way. Well, you you raise yourself up to here. We can put a floor in there. A full floor. Just sit down on that. You, that's your height. You put a, put a false floor in there. We can build a bulkhead all around that hydraulic thing. Or pump, rather. Where do you put the where do you put the divider? Right here, probably, hey? Yeah. You can build the Because the exhaust, here and the exhaust goes right bit. in here. The exhaust is right here. The exhaust is right there. So we just have to put all that in place before you can build the bulkhead. So you just put the bulkhead up like this, up like this, and like that, up like this and like that, and that could be your gauges right there. Yeah. Like, uh, right here. And have it here or in the middle. See, this thing is... How comfortable a straddle in that. I'm not going there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but again, if a person, I think person put a bench seat across here. Yeah. You put a bench seat here, this height, and then we can box all this in. So you got somewhere for your feet, put a nice flat plate in there. See, there's all kinds of hydraulic lines you need to come over here and come down yeah, but you... to be covered up. So where do you figure you put the floor right here? Yeah. Right. I mean, I can't really tell unless that's exposed. At the bottom line though, it's doable. Very doable. And how far you in the middle got, of this machine got, are we? You already got the blank canvas already off made for you. So it's a yeah. matter of printing it up, putting the details, figure out where you're going to put everything on the motor and then we can build all that in there. Put a roll cage on the back. Get them monstrous see, wheels on it. See, that's not too... You're right in the middle. So you keep all the weight in the middle of it, eh? And like you said, that oil there will make a difference too. That motor's not that heavy. That motor's maybe, if it's 200 pounds, you'd be lucky. Probably 300 or maybe 400 pounds with the pump on it. But you're right in the middle. So your weight is here, and then you throw so, your shit in the back. So which wheels drive, front and the rear? All of them. Oh, all of them? Yeah. Oh, so the chain goes, okay, I get it now. Hey. Right here in the chain case, right here. Yeah, but wet. Like, right there. there there's got to be a motor to drive it. Back here. Okay. Yeah, but that's... So all, all your lines can come straight down and back there. Look at them wheels. You can, yeah. Look how wide the wheels are. That thing's going to be a blast when you get that I in tell you what. You chase the swamp donkeys around the swamp. It's a <laughs> swamp donkey chaser. <laughs> yeah. Hey? I don't know why they never drilled no hole in the floor of this son of a bitch to let the water out. We can chase those pigs around Alberta in this. <laughs> exactly. What, what do you call this? Uh, the swamp donkey. The swamp donkey. Yeah. But the rims are going to look cool on it, eh? Have you got the tires for it? <laughs> no. Near a thousand dollars a piece. Okay. It's doable, man. Okay, you're happy with that? I think so, as long as you are. Oh, there you go. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Again, don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Get on her, my friends.